What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why I think a Chase setup is much better than an American Express setup. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, come on, ride this wave. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out. And comment down below with your thoughts on either setup, American Express or a Chase setup. I really appreciate it. Also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel or if you've been here, uh, please just guys make sure that you are subscribed and that will enter you. Also be sure to participate in the comment section and like the videos, I really appreciate it. Okay, so obviously the purpose of this video is really based on my opinion. Uh, I think a Chase setup is a lot more efficient rather than having an American Express setup. It's not that I don't like American Express because I actually do like American Express a lot. Um, but, uh, you know, for the sake of most people, uh, most people are not going to want to pay those high annual fees that come with the American Express charge cards, especially if you're trying to maximize the amount of value that you get out of every single card, especially now, especially now. And I'll tell you why later, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So with Chase, if you're trying to maximize your uh, points earning uh, with all of Chase cards, let's say both the personal and the business side, you're probably going to come out spending, let's say you have the Sapphire Reserve, right? And you also have the Ink Preferred. Well, what's gonna happen is, if you have the Sapphire Reserve and then you have the Ink Preferred, that's gonna run you around $550, give or take, let's just say that. And uh, if you have any of their other cards, those are no annual fee cards. So that setup is in, in total gonna cost you around $550 if you have both the Sapphire Reserve and the Ink Preferred. Now, if you didn't have the Sapphire Reserve and you only had the Ink Preferred and the Chase Sapphire Preferred, then that's gonna run you <laughs> obviously about 180 bucks. That's not a lot. So, um, well, 190, so let's just say that. But that's totally you know, up to you if you feel like uh, if you feel like only having the Sapphire Preferred and the Ink Preferred, uh, or you could just have you know one or the other, it doesn't matter. And if you guys were gonna get an American Express setup, then obviously you're gonna pay a $550 annual fee off the jump just for having the American Express Platinum card. And then on top of that, you're gonna pay a $250 annual fee for having the American Express Gold card. And then if you want any of their other cards, um, you're gonna pay an annual fee no matter what. And those annual fees are not waived. Um, so you think about it, even if you have their business cards, the American Express Platinum business card is $595, right? And then the gold card for the business side is $295. So uh, that's another, you know, that's where I give, you know, chase the leg up right there. And for the second part is that American Express does not have cashback cards that you can transfer those cashback points into ult uh, membership reward points. So um, that's another thing. With Chase, you can literally have five cashback cards and be earning points on all those cashback cards and you can transfer those to ultimate rewards points and you can get a much higher value for having all of their cards. That's business included. You can combine both of those uh, personal and business cards and transfer all the points to ultimate rewards points and get a much higher value, especially through Hyatt. Uh, that's usually the best way, but you can also get good redemptions out of uh, United Airlines and Southwest Airlines. So with American Express, they have some no annual fee um, membership rewards earning cards, but they're not that great in my opinion. They're just not that great and they're not that many. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, for everyday spending, I think Chase has probably some of the best cards um, out there. So just you know, kind of be aware of that whenever you're choosing between the two. Um, you know, you're gonna pay high, high annual fees. A lot of people like to say, American Express, they're great because you can offset the fees with all of the credits that you get. But now, American Express is making it really hard to get those credits. For one, being the airline fee credit now that um, it apparently has gone away. Um, they're like cracking down on everything. They're making it a lot harder to redeem those credits. And 
uh, basically you're going to be stuck paying you know, $550 annual fee for the Platinum card and really get no value out of it, especially if you don't fly because that card only earns 5 points per dollar on travel. Um, basically booking through airlines uh, directly or through Amex Travel. That's where you're going to get your 5 points per dollar. Other than that, you're going to get 1 point per dollar spent on everything, which is crap. Um, with the gold card, you could probably get value, but you know, moving down the line or moving forward, you're really not going to get much value out of that. Uh, and you're going to be stuck paying those high annual fees because the charge cards have no downgrade option to no annual fee options. And with the Chase setup, you can literally downgrade from the Sapphire Reserve to the Chase Freedom Unlimited or to the Chase Freedom and not have to pay the annual fee. And American Express doesn't have that. So that's another reason why I think most people, especially if you're just starting out, should go with Chase cards over American Express cards. A lot of people like the American Express cards because it you know, personifies kind of status. It's a social status thing. You whip out your American Express card like, oh, boom, oh, you have a platinum card. I'm going to I'm going to buy dinner with my platinum card. I'm going to get 1 point per dollar on that, right? Like, but they do it because it's kind of, you know, they're stunting on people, but you're not really you're not really doing yourself any justice by getting 1 point per dollar on buying dinner with the platinum card. Uh, so that's just, you know, kind of my take on it. And also another thing is is that if you're trying to redeem points for Chase, they are a lot easier to redeem. Right? They're a lot easier to understand. Uh, whenever you go to American Express, uh, their points are really hard to redeem because of their transfer partners are a lot different. Uh, you know, they do have some of the same between the two, but not as many. And uh, it's gonna cost you a lot more in, mem in membership rewards points uh, to travel somewhere than it is going to be to travel with uh, Chase points. And also with the Chase side, you can get a, a lot of value, especially, like I said, if you're, if you're transferring to Hyatt, you can get some really good redemptions with Hyatt. Um, a lot higher than what you would be able to if you were redeeming uh, membership reward points. And another thing with the Chase uh, setup is that if you sign up for their no annual fee cards, especially on the business side, then you're going to get high sign up bonuses. You're going to get uh, 50,000 ultimate rewards points that you can transfer uh, up to one of the uh, ultimate rewards earning card and get that for a higher value. With American Express, the most you might get with one of their no annual fee cards is going to be about 15,000 membership reward points and it's it's kind of up to you whether you think that's worth it or not. So uh, I think a Chase setup is going to be a lot better. Obviously that's subjective, that's my point of view. Uh, you don't have to agree with me. And let me know down in the comments guys what you think uh, of either setup, which one you prefer. Uh, you know, again, there's no wrong answer here, but you know, my preference is obviously gonna be Chase, especially now since American Express is making it hard to get those credits. So I'm more than likely gonna end up either upgrading my card now to a Sapphire Reserve, or I may just start getting rid of some of my American Express cards, it just depends. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends, drop a comment down below to let me know which setup you prefer. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the bell notification down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.